What's up, y'all? Kid Stain again, back with another video. And um, the Saints Row reboot is not looking too good. Everybody can see that. And um, the sales numbers are out, which is, it's not really out, but somebody said how much it sold. And um, I'm pretty much just going to tell you why and how the Saints Row reboot failed. So um, pretty much, I'm just going to be reading... Uh, Game Industry Biz. This is um article. And uh yeah, according to GFK's data, Saints Row has sold has sold more than five times the number of units in its first week than 2017's Agents of Mayhem. Okay, pause right there. If they said that it sold more than five times the amount that uh Agents of Mayhem sold, that is not good. I'm just going to keep it above 50 with you. All this takes is a little bit of simple math. Okay, watch this. Okay, first off, Agents of Mayhem only sold 67,000 units first week, right? So if you do a little bit of math, you do 67,000 times, let's just say five because that's the number that they gave us. And you get 335,000 copies sold in the first week. This game is a colossal failure. To be honest, even if you were to multiply this number by 10, it would still be a failure. Like, this Saints Row is a triple A title. And to be honest, a triple A title is supposed to sell 1 million first week. For it to be a successful game. This game has flopped so bad. It is ridiculous. Like that is crazy. And the reason that it did flop. Is because that people found out that. How do you make a Saints Row game. That's worse than your previous games. Like they took out so many features. Like Saints Row 2 demolishes this game. GTA 5, a game that came out in 2013, demolishes this game. And I don't want to hear that shit about, oh, it's just wacky fun. Bro, you waited. How? When was the, the, the last Saints Row game released? Probably like 2015, 2017 or something like that. You waited this long for garbage. If you want to play Wacky Fun, go play Saints Row 2. You can fucking pick up a street sign and go whack somebody upside the head with it. You can pick up a mailbox and fucking throw it at somebody. Like, bro, that's Wacky Fun done the right way. But the, the Saints Row reboot fans are just so hell-bent. Like, oh, this game is good. You guys don't have any taste on how video games are supposed to be. And to you, I tell you, you have no fucking taste in video games. That's the bottom line. To be honest, like... How do you think this is better than the previous Saints Row when it clearly isn't? There are comparison videos on YouTube that literally show games that are over 10 years old demolishing a game that came out in 2022. And to be honest, this game, to say that it came out in 2022, it looks like it's still stuck in like... This should have been released like 2015, if we're being honest. This game is not a 2022 product. It doesn't look it doesn't look pleasing graphically. There are people complaining that the maps feel that the map just feels fucking empty. The they got rid of the fucking physics. Like half of the physics that made Saints Row Saints Row are gone. Like if you were to jump out of a car now, you don't fucking do like 20 flips. Your character does a barrel roll out of the car. And they take no damage. You can run into a tree by like you can run into a tree going like one miles an hour and the shit fucking explodes. Like, what? Like, come on, man. This you cannot tell me they were serious about this game. And oh God, please don't try to sell me that lame ass excuse that, oh, Saints Row needed to be diverse. Saints Row was already diverse. That like who was this game for? You look at Saints Row 1 and 2. You had Lin and you had Johnny Gat. Two Asian characters in a video game that was released in like, what, 2004, I think? And then you had Johnny Gat, 
who was having an on and off relationship with a black woman. I don't know how much more diverse you can get for that time period. And you have the stoner, uh, Shandi. You got Pierce, which is the comedy, like the comedic relief done the right way. And then you have the boss, which is supposed to be you. But like, I, I, I don't understand, man. This, who the fuck was this game for? It's a, it's a failure. Even the crowd they were trying to sell to didn't even buy this shit. How do you only sell 335,000 copies first week in your AAA game? That is depressing. But if you want to know, well, if you want to see what I'm talking about, I would highly recommend watching um, Enigma and his comparisons between uh, GTA 5 and Saints Row 2022. Like this game is an utter disappointment. It's done. The, the Saint, we have witnessed the death of the Saints Row series. This shit is not coming back from this. 335 fucking... <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. And another thing about the Saints Row series, like this shit was already off to a rocky start because the game devs, instead of being professional about fucking criticism, they flat out tell their fans, oh, haters are going to hate. We're not doing, we're not changing anything. I don't, we don't, we don't want to give you what you want. We're going to make the game that we want. And you see where that got you? Absolutely nowhere. Your game is done. The Saints Row series is done. The people who play this game and they're trying to fucking convince other people that this game is good, it is not. This game is not good. It's a steaming pile of dog shit. And um, yeah, guys, this is probably <laughs> going to be my last Saints Row video. I don't know. I, I may come back and, and make another one. But um, yeah, guys, it's been Kid Stain and later.